good morning. My happy place. And my first visit for 2023. Yeah, I love this. Undoubtedly the most famous theme park in the UK. My personal favourite. Yeah, a bit of a drive down here this morning, about 11 o'clock in the morning. Oh, it's a three hour drive for me to get home to you know what I mean? I come here far too often because <laughs> it's that far. Yeah, so obviously, curse of old man I knew for 2023. I resisted the temptation to come at the weekend and stand in two hour queues and I wait to a Friday morning. It's 11 p.m. like I say, but the Friday after opening weekend. My guess is a lot of loggers will be at Thorpe Park today. <laughs> because it's opening, of course. But for me, I always come to Alton Towers on a reasonably quiet day. There's a, school. There's a few buses here with some school trips by the looks of things. But other than that, I'm not expecting long crowds today. I'm going to head over to the Kurzweil Manor to start my day. Get a few laps on Wicker Man, hopefully. I love this park. It's just a special atmosphere. It's weird. I can't describe it. That's... I call it my happy place. I just like being here. It makes me smile permanently. Yeah, unique place. Yeah, so 11.30ish, it's down for technical delays, hopefully back late, open later, I hope so, it's primarily the main reason of my visit. We'll keep checking the app, I'll come back in a bit. Let's go and have a go on Wicker Man, I think. Yeah, Congo River Rapids. Trough's looking a bit dry. Wandering about at the moment. My train's on about 15 minutes. Maybe later. This is a new thing too. Funky music, isn't it? I don't recognise this music. Yeah. Trough's trained. Well, I was going to have a look at them today as well if the waterfalls are on. Primarily the main reason I walked this way round. But, No, they're not on. There's some water in down there, but I don't think they're very comfortable rides. Big Bob. Best wooden coast in the country. One of my personal favourites. Probably my favourite here at Towers, to be honest. I love a wooden coaster. It's an age thing. It's starting to rain. This we have a wet back row ride on Wigger Man. We're getting in line. See what the board says here on Friday morning in the rain. <laughs> I've never had a wet ride on Wigger Man, I don't think. It still burns though. The rain cannot quell the flames. <laughs> oh, we got half hour wait. Right, I'll get in line. I'll let you know how it's running. Coasters as the lift hill change angle. Let me know. I can't think of one. Anyway, nearly there now. 25 minutes into the queue. So, about, about right. Pumping the trains out. One comes into the brake, one, one leaves. <laughs> I think I'm going to get a wet ride. It did stop raining. It's now starting again. We will see. 
But to start that ritual, we must present him with a gift. And that gift is you. The time has come for the weapon to rise. So I just took my ride on Big Bob there. It's been a 30 minute wait. It's all in an old greasy track. It weren't raining when I was on it, which was good. So, let's have a look at the app. Kurzweil Mall is still not open. It's a bit upsetting. Rita's closed, Oblivion's closed, Spinball Wizard's closed. Obviously, Nemesis is being retracked. Um, Congo River Rapids are shut. Yeah, I'm not that impressed with that. So I'm gonna have a little wander around. I might wander over to have a little look at Spinball Wizard. That's <laughs> the Smiler, is what I meant by that. Not that I'd do it. But I don't have the option. Shut. <laughs> so I'm just milling around. It's quite busy. It's a lot busier than I anticipated. Park's only open till four as well. That's just outrageous. Four. Come on. Good till six, at least five. Give us a break. Anyway, I'm not going to rant and whinge too much. I do like it here. This is my happy place. So I'm having a little wonder about. There's a certain spot I like to go and sit and eat some food, have my drink of water. Look at the price increase of the food. I'm definitely bringing my own food from now on. Geez, 17 quid for some pizza and pasta, a tenner for a burger and chips. It's ridiculous. Right, I'll show you where I like to sit. Stunning gardens here. I'll put in some highlights. Often overlooked. The older I get, the more I appreciate them. So hidden in the gardens, if you know where to look, there's a little grotto. It's normally quiet, summer days people find it. It's good when it rains, it drips a little bit. That's why I like to come and sit my lunch, eat my lunch like a little troll. Thanks, <laughs> I'm five minute wait. I've done it many times. It's great for going to Madhouse. It makes me dizzy though. So I'm gonna miss that. Have a look, see how Rita and 13 are doing queue time. Says on the app, uh, 35 for Rita and about 15 for 13. Have a little look. I'm going to get my yearly ride on both of these. I'm not a great fan of either of them, if I'm honest. They're good coasters. If you've done 13 once, um, you've ruined the surprise and then you know what's going to come. No spoilers, I won't tell you. And Rita's good. Punchy launch. Other than it does nothing, but um, if, if, if you've done stealth at Thought Park or anything, anything like that, the launch is not very good. So, but you know, I'm here, so I'll get on them. There's Rita down in Dark Forest. It's busy today for Friday. Busier than I wanted. That's more than 35 minutes. It's more 40, 50 minutes. My guess. Let's go have a look at 13. And 
accelerator. 0 to 60 in 2.5 seconds. It's like I say, a punchy launch. But that is, you see the layout, that's, that's what the coaster does. It's all about the launch. It's a good launch. Like I say, after then, uninspired layout. Front of 13 is pretty line now. That's about it for filming, that's about all I can get. It's hidden away in the woods back here. See a bit of track peeking through somewhere. Just there, look. Yeah, a bit of fun now. I don't know what I think when I get off. Just had my ride on 13 there. It's his 13th birthday, so I thought I'd have a go on it. Yeah, 20, 30 minute wait. We're coming up to quarter to two now here at Old Towers. And the Curse of Old Mariner is still not open. I'm getting a bit worried. Park just at four. Like I say, the main reason I come today was to get on that. Uh, I'm gonna have a wander around. We'll see what the smile is doing, shall we? I'll put some footage of that. <laughs> Noisy, isn't it? Hey X Hector. It's one of the best coasters to film. Amazing machine, the Smiler. World record holder for the amount of inversions. 14! Whether I ride or not, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of inversions. If I'm honest, air time and speed are more my thing. We'll see what the queue's like. I'll let you know. I'll put in some off-ride footage. It's mad. Not a track. Great coaster. Not my personal favourite. Like I say, I'm not big into inversions, but a great coach, I appreciate the design and the mechanics and the engineering of this, it's immense. <laughs> I love the crazy theme to this coaster. I also love the airtime hill. In the middle of the ride, that's probably the best airtime hill we got here in the UK. Our country severely lacks airtime in roller coasters. Hopefully, Thor Park's changing that. Next year will tell. Hey, right. have a look at a fun fair ride, shall we? <laughs> Spin jam! Is the music absolutely necessary? <laughs> As you can see, super popular in a park that has world class roller coasters. Same as whatever this bloody thing is. It's this spinning right here. I mean, don't get me wrong, they're great rides. At a fair. I love a fair. You would follow my channel, see any of my vlogs, check out the fun fair vlogs. I'm a big fan of a fun fair, but look, just there, look, you've got Smiler, you literally have Oblivion wrapping around the outside. <laughs> it's just out of place, man. Yeah, not a fan, not a fan. As a lot of vloggers I've seen, it's just out of place. I mean, if you want to build 
funfair rides, build permanent ones and stick them when that's not in a themed area, I don't know, use the lawn or something. Like a temporary funfair there. Uh, anyway, that's my rant then. I ain't even gonna bother looking at the other flat rides. Well, the other fun fair rides, there aren't many flat rides here. Might be a trip to Old Towers without that shot of oblivion, would it? 180 foot. You wouldn't think it here. Yeah, that's how far down she goes. Great drop. I've done a few dive coasters now. I've done Valkyria over in Sweden, and I've done uh, Oblivion the Black Hole over in Italy. This one still has the most forceful drop. Valkyria is probably a better dive coaster. It does more. Oh, and I've done, what's the other one? Baroon at Efteling. Yeah, I've done quite a few. This one still has the most forceful drop. The original and the most forceful drop. Pumping the trains out, look. Even on a busy day, Oblivion's a good bet. Few wise, you'll never wait long for Oblivion. B&M capacity machine. Let's get one more drop in, shall we, as they're coming round. Trying to get a different angle for you. It used to hold you there a bit longer, the holding brakes. Don't look down. I came in opening year. Woo! <laughs> it's fun to watch, isn't it? Yeah, I came over in the year for this, I remember that, it seems a lifetime ago. I've been coming to Old Towers a long time, 1992. In fact, it was my first ever visit. There's only ever been two roller coasters built here that I've never experienced. The Four Man Bob. And the Beast, I think, the New Beast it was called. Other than that, I've done everything else. I remember Thunderlooper standing somewhere around here. Black Hole. <laughs> Back in the days, I used to like a lot more extreme coasters. Thunderlooper's still operating. For the record, anyone fancy a trip out to Brazil? Under the name of Mari Mari is the name of the coaster now. I can't believe they're still operating. That's a credit I've already got, so I don't need to go. <laughs> yeah, it's back here. Still got the win a thousand pound holding one course. The stage here, ready for the summer. Lovely green. So, if I owned Old Towers, which of course I never will, or I don't, personally, if you're going to have fun fair rides, which you shouldn't have, but if you are, in front of this green here, just in front of the lake, lay some hard flooring out, some those rubber mats, and you can stick your fun fair rides along here, look. And it doesn't take away from the immersion or the atmosphere of X Sector or whatever area you're sticking your rides in, it, it seems a separate sort of little area, you can put some bunting and you know, all the fun of the fair music. I mean, if that's what you want to do, Old Towers as a world-class, internationally renowned theme park, you want to put in more fun fair rides, stick them here. <laughs> that's what I'd do. Let's have a look at Towers trading, see what we got new for this year. I might even treat myself to a new t-shirt. We'll see. Yeah, as you come in in this section, all the sweets you could ever imagine or want. And then we have some plushes, generic TY things, some kids' toys. It's clearly popular in theme parks. I see this sort of merch in every theme park I go to. Here we have the branded merch. You get the old towers, top trumps. They're nice. Ice cream, ice cream. Feel a bit like a Brillo pad, but <laughs> looks nice. Ride mug. Yeah, 12 quid in bag. I'm season pass, season pass holder here, so I'll get my discount. It's not too bad. I like that. I think I don't like it's the grey there. That's nice. £50 pound though. It's quite pricey. Whole smiler section over here. Look, I'm not going to give you an in depth tour, tour. just briefly show you. I want to do some good merch. Probably the best offer in a merch of any UK theme park. Compared to our American cousins, we lack behind here with theme park merch. Get your Smiler badges, your Wicker Man merch. Resins are popular now. They're getting better as well. Not for me. T-shirts are what I collect. Not a really a T-shirt, but you know, if that's your thing. 
You haven't got some Galactica merch. And your socks. Yeah. Well, that's that. Oh, yeah, top tip. Don't wait to the end of the day to come in Towers Trading. Halfway through the day, the shop's dead. You get to have a proper walk around and have a look. At the end of the day, it'll be rammed. Arr, let's have a walk through Mutiny Bay. <laughs> Caught in an hour now, nearly three o'clock. And the curse of Alton Manor is still not open. Not a happy bunny. Like I say, is the reason I made a three hour drive today was to come on that. It's been closed all day. Six days old. <laughs> so it's not the end of the world, I'm a season pass holder, I will be back. But this means I've got to make another long drive. Ain't much going on in Mutiny Bay, it's quiet in here. We've got Heave Ho over there. Small pirate ship. The Gun Ho, or whatever it's called, Marauder's Mayhem. Give a refresh this area, in my opinion. Been here so long. They don't look that good. Yeah, I'm gonna have a little wander around again. Curse of Holton Manor, just to, you know, I might ask a member of staff out the front and see what's going on. Is it gonna be open today? Because if not, I'm gonna wrap up my day here. I may get another ride on Wicker Man, depending on the queue time. I do like that coaster. <laughs> choo choo. Yeah, a little bit of food, a little runaway mine trail there. Some half hour wait. I don't wait half hour for that. It's coming down into gloomy wood now. Another little look, it's not looking promising. For me getting on the curse of Alton Manor today. Hmm. Already in my hand already in my head making plans to return. Really want to go on this today. And have a look. says it's shut. <laughs> Always worth walking down and having a look in it, especially if you really want to get on it. So let's see what the queue's like. I'm guessing it won't be too bad because like I say, the app says it's shut. I've been down this area here since the uh, haunted house days. That was a long time ago. The haunted house is really good. I was never a fan of Jewel. Hopefully this is a big improvement. I'm going to get in. I'm going to absorb the queue line when I get in the building because it's the first time for me. I want to see what it's like. I'll give you my thoughts when I get out. So, 30 minutes in, three rides later. And now I'll let you know what I think of the Curse of Old Manor. A 10 minute wait. There you can see there, straight in. About five minutes from again there. Um, it's good. Massive improvement on Jill. Best dog ride in the country? I don't know. It's, it's a good ride. I, I was expecting it to be better, I'll be honest. It's, it's a jazzed up ghost ride. <laughs> not, not to upset anyone there, but that's my opinion. It's a slightly better ghost train. It was good. I enjoyed it. Emily Alton seriously got some issues. Bless her. Poor parenting, I should imagine. I like the actors outside and wandering around. But now I'm glad I did it. Like I say, it was the main reason I come down here today. The curse of the Alton Manor. Yeah, just to elaborate a little bit on that. It's a good dark ride. It's easily the best quality 
ghost train or horror genre ride if you like in the country but if you've been Efteling, Disney it's meh, it's meh. <laughs> but for the UK it's great damn into sand negative there it's a good ride and like I say it's a lot better than Jewel wasn't a fan kind of run around towards Wicker Man again I'm going to get my fourth ride on that today and then make my way home I think it's been a good day I always enjoy it here at Towers pretty much guaranteed a good day unless you're coming on a bank holiday in the summer and then you're just mad and then you know you're going to wait three hours for everything if you can come on a weekday appreciate lots of people who've got to work I've pulled a few extra weekend shifts so I can take the weekdays off I enjoy my theme parks you see <laughs> right I'm going to get back on with my man and I'll see you guys when I get around there We got Festival of Thrills, a smaller takeover, Mardi Gras, Oktoberfest, Scarefest, Fireworks, and Christmas. Six big festivals coming up here on Towers this year. It's getting more a thing. I'll avoid them times. I'm busy, you see, the park then. I like to have the park more or less to myself. It's too busy here today for me. I've had a good day. Back at the front now. Next to a piece of iconic track from Corkscrew. It used to be my favourite coaster once upon a time. Long time ago. <laughs> Interesting fact, you can still ride the trains from Corkscrew. I think they're over at Mirabellandia. No, that's a lie. They're over at Gardaland. Of course it's a Merlin Land Park over in Italy. Anyway, thank you for joining us. Hope you enjoyed my little wander around Old Towers. I'll be back later on in the year. Curse of Alton Manor. It was good, it was an improvement on Jill. It wasn't as good as I was hoping. I'll be honest, that's just my thoughts. Glorified Ghost Train. I enjoyed it. But, could have been better. Um, Wicker Man's phenomenal. One of my favourite coasters in the country. Four rides on that. It's hauling by the end of the day. As you can see, Sunshine and quite a good bit of air time in the back there. Yeah, wonderful day. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you guys in the next vlog. <laughs>